Gambia is a very poor country. It's a very small country, but it's very typical of the whole continent of Africa. There's TB, there's HIV and malaria. People die of easily preventable diseases. If you're a child, your chances of dying before you're five are about one in eight. It's disgraceful. It's something of which we all should be ashamed. We know how to solve this problem. When Riders for Health first showed up in 1989, one of the things that we immediately noticed was that healthcare delivery failed all the time. And the reason that people gave was a very simple one. The nurse couldn't come because the vehicle she was supposed to come in broke down. And often women have had to walk very long distances. Imagine if they've gone to all that trouble and the health worker doesn't arrive. Health transports were not running properly because we didn't have sufficient resources to run them by the replacement parts and fuel. And the evidence was plain to see. They were parked behind Ministry of Health buildings in large numbers. People spend huge amounts of money on vehicles for Africa. The money's wasted because the vehicles aren't managed. Transport is an essential element in any healthcare delivery and management. Without transport, a lot of service cannot be delivered. It's pretty straightforward. The vehicles don't work, nobody gets there, everybody dies. Make the vehicles work, people get there, people don't die. Riders for Health's sole focus is on vehicles and the management of vehicles. We work in seven countries at the moment in order that the vehicles are reliable, predictable, and that people in rural communities in Africa don't die of easily preventable and curable disease. It's not a kind of nice luxury addition. It's at the core of a development model of health delivery. And without it, the doctors, the medicines, the clinics risk being a wasted investment because that key linkage in the middle, getting the health worker to the patient, becomes impossible. Our approach to this was to say, right, none of these vehicles must ever break down and which caused, you know, all sorts of unpleasant things <laughs> were said when we said, this. well, that's ridiculous. Look at all these broken down vehicles. That's just idealistic nonsense. You don't understand Africa. So, well, all right, but we understand if you let a vehicle start to break down, the whole thing will break down. We understand that. Two years ago, we expanded our fleet here in the Gambia so that every health center has an ambulance, a trekking vehicle and motorcycles. It makes sense that if you can reach people that could never have been reached before, predictably and reliably, it's going to have a big impact on the health system. I am employed by the Gambia government, Ministry of Health. If there are malnourished children or at-risk children or women, uh, pregnant women, I go and follow them up. And sometimes I am also assigned to distribution of mosquito nets. And then we also go into training of community members to be able to protect themselves, especially with issues regarding malaria, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS. My motorcycle is very, very important to me because it makes my work very easy for me, more efficient and more effective. Since the inception of Riders, it has been fantastic because now they provide us with the technician, with the right materials, also spare parts. We tell Gambians that Riders for Health can provide reliable vehicles and motorcycles for you people. So this is why if we are servicing any vehicle or motorcycles, we never be in haste. We take our time, check everything we need to check. Vehicles must be reliable at all times. We were able to develop a situation in which we own the vehicles and lease them to the Ministry of Health, which is cheaper for them because we brought it down to a particular cost for a particular vehicle per kilometre that that vehicle travels. We've been able to negotiate a loan with a bank, GT Bank, to pay for our vehicles. We put the proposition to them 
and they were very taken aback. It was taking us now outside commercial banking transactions. Commercial banking transactions essentially is you lend money to commercial businesses, they make business, they make profit, they pay you back. But what we are talking of here is an NGO that will not make profit. They couldn't see how this could work, how much risk was in this notion for them. It came to our notice that a foundation was willing to place cash to take away the default risk. And I'm happy that we were able to package it to the satisfaction of all parties. This food is a high calorie food item. Mm. All right? It's very rich. So this is for two weeks. Yes. So by the end of the two weeks, I'll come back, OK? Yes. So. I feel much more comfortable to tell the mother of the malnourished child that I'll be back in 14 days because there is a reliable transport fleet with me. The whole health system is now moving. People are reaching pregnant women with care before the birth. They're able to refer them to hospital if there's a problem with the birth. So we know the impact. We know what's happening here, and it's huge. Because of the Riders for Health Transport program, the Gambia is benefiting. The communities are being served. Government is saving a lot of money. I can feel the positive impact of what we have done. I'm touched. My heart is touched because I can see that at the end of the day, what we thought we were doing has turned out to be of immense social benefit to Gambia as a country. What Rise for Health has done in Gambia is you know, a fantastic model uh, for much of Africa and for some other parts of the world as well. We currently reach over 10 million people. And of course, if we double the number of vehicles, we're going to at least double the number of people we reach. My hope is we go further. And with good partnership and working closely, this can be achieved. What I hope for the future is that people just accept this as normal. Well, of course, if you're going to have a health service, you've got to be mobile, you've got to look after the vehicles, so it just becomes automatic.